Hello students I hope you all are doing well in this presentation I am going to cover characteristics of stepper motor in detail so to start with let us discuss some important terms related to stepper motor step angle it is the angle through which rotor shaft rotates for each electric pulse given to the motor now the second thing is single step resolution it is inversely proportional to the step angle smaller the step angle greater the steps per revolution and higher the single step resolution holding torque at stand still the motor opposes the rotation of rotor due to load inertia the holding torque is introduced for the measure of this opposing torque so the holding torque may be defined as the maximum load torque that can be applied to the rotor shaft of an excited motor without causing continuous rotation of the rotor datent torque the torque of a permanent magnet motor as we very well know and also the rotor of the hybrid stepper motor has the tendency of aligning itself with the stator poles even in the absence of the stator excitation due to rotor's magnetic behavior and develops a torque to restrain the rotor from rotation the detent torque is the measure of this tendency so the detent torque may be defined as the maximum load torque that can be applied to the rotor shaft without causing the continuous rotation of the rotor now coming to the very important topic that is the rotor torque stepping pulse rate characteristics of the stepping motor of the stepper motor This characteristics gives the variation of electrical torque developed as a function of stepping rate in pulse per second. The moving rotor of the stepper motor gets uh, gets less time in driving the load from one position to the next with increasing stepping rate. So the driving torque reduces with increasing stepping or pulse rate. This is shown in the figure which I am going to discuss in the next slide. A stepper motor is usually characterized by two characteristic curve. The first one is the pull out versus pulse rate. The second is the pull in torque versus the pulse rate characteristic. The pull in torque curve shows the maximum stepping rate with which the stepper motor can start, synchronize, stop or reverse its direction of rotation as desired for the different values of load torque. The pull out torque curve on the other hand shows the maximum stepping rate at which the motor can run for different values of load torque if motor is already synchronized but the motor cannot start stop or reverse its direction of rotation at this rate here as you can defer in this figure s1 is the maximum pulse rate per second with which this stepper motor can be started and synchronized stop or reverse its direction of rotation as desired for a particular load torque tl as shown in the figure once the motor is started and synchronized the pulse rate per second may be increased up to s2 without losing synchronism the pulse rate from s2 s1 to s2 is known as slew rate for the stepper motor for this particular load torque tl the region between the two torque curves that is the pull out torque and pull in torque is known as the slew range the characteristic between pull in torque and zero pulse rate per second is known as the start range the characteristic left to the vertical dotted line is also known as low pulse rate and never used in practice this is due to the rotor oscillations caused by lack of damping at a very low pulse rate So the actual start range lies between dotted vertical line and the pull and torque curve. So the following conclusions can be made at this point regarding the working of stepper motor. The first one is the stepper motor may be started and synchronized, stop or reverse its direction of rotation in the start range only. The motor may not be started and synchronized, stop or reverse its direction of rotation in the slew range. The stepper motor must be started in starting region and then the pulse rate must be increased to bring it to slew region. The load follows the pulse rate up to the pull out torque in the slew region. The stepper motor starts to miss the steps for more than this pulse rate and the motor may get out of synchronism. And lastly, the maximum torque point denotes the maximum holding torque of the excited motor for a standstill load. 
so that's all for it i hope this ppt was helpful for you all see you in the next video